tu dis What is up guys, Duplexer again, back with some more squad ops action. In today's video, we're gonna be following the US platoon, which aim is to reinforce and hold an FOB in the area. The soldiers running past the screen right now are on their way to reinforce and help defend the FOB against the imminent insurgent attack. Be sure to click the link in the description box below in case you're interested in joining future squad ops events. This is going to be a pretty action-packed round, so strap in and enjoy the fight. We got a uh, insurgent motorcycle gang riding hard. There's something quite awesome about this. Um, oh boy, are they going hard? They're going to ride... <laughs> They're gonna ride right into. Are they gonna go right or left? I'm not sure what they're doing. I think they they might be uh, scouts. Our, uh, oh, they just wanted to get to the techie. To our east. Okay, to nice idea, nice maneuver. Right here, two and one. Let's and this guy is gonna set up a mine because I do believe. Oh, but the a U.S. squad leader might spot him. Okay, running over the motorcycle driver is not gonna aid you in your quest. Oh God. The battle is on. The U.S. know now that they've placed a mine here. So uh, they're going to go ahead and relay that to the uh, striker squad. Firefight is going to evolve here near the bridge. The two motorcycle teams are going to return fire while trying to pull out of the area. They've done what they came to do. They've secured a Dushka Teki and also placed a mine on the road. But as you previously heard, uh, the uh, U.S. commander did observe that, and uh, the striker and uh, logic truck back here knows about the mine now, so they're not going to choose that road. And the rest of the team moves on. Let's uh, have a quick, quick look. Ooh! Hostiles are on our south. That's the only entrance we've got. Copy. Keep moving, sweep for mines though. Keep moving, sweep for mines. Use the striker as a mobile uh, dishka. Copy. Squad four, we're gonna clear out that Three insurgents control. moving up there. here. Uh, some insurgents uh, spawned closer to the uh, one yeah, US squad, squad here compound. defending the compound. And I think the remaining INS team spawned at a distance just like the remaining US team. But uh, unlike the remaining INS soldiers, which seem to be on the opposite side there of the river, the US team is actually starting to get really, really close to their teammates. Um, and a few shots are traded. Commands down. down. Copy. One shot. One your command. Copy. There's a lot of U.S. soldiers in here, and there's really no INS presence here that could threaten their, their hold right now. There's just simply too few to attack. Uh, this guy has decided to just uh, focus on the wall and the field and potentially knocking down a few U.S. soldiers. He's going to open up and kill a... S oh, no, he's only going to bring down one. Previously, one other squad leader is going to go down there after taking some fire, but he's going to survive that. Grenades are being thrown in an attempt to knock out the gunner. He's going to... He's gonna spot them. I think he was out of ammo, though. Oh, shit. Grenades are being thrown. Oh! They're going to do what they can to delay the uh, reinforcements, but uh, they're practically already here. All they can do right now is try and maximize the damage they do to the uh, U.S. platoon. 
Uh, they're not going to be able to take down the FOB or the defenders inside the compound without any further reinforcements because right now the U.S. are in serious control of the area. Look at the amount of soldiers gathering here. This is absolutely insane. Four squads in one area. The only squad missing right now is the Striker and Lodgy squad. Frags out on the west side right now. Taking up the east side compound. I'll watch the south entrance and the east entrance. This is one, I got one fire team on the west, one on the east. Watch in the outside of the compound. Thank you, medic. I'm gonna build up the sandbag. Scratch, hold on, no, post security, I'm gonna cover you. Three is just gonna act as the exterior patrol. We're heading west, then we're gonna come back east. Keep sweeping for him. Good copy, good copy. The remaining insurgent soldier in the squad that attacked the compound early on is gonna get back in a uh, SPG techie and drive back. He's gonna pull out. That is a quite a valuable vehicle, especially when there's a striker in the game. It's gonna be your uh, your best chance of knocking it out. This guy has the RPG ready. We will see what the insurgent squad does. They're looking to remain sneaky here. We got a guy checking out the US positions. I think he can see the striker, at least he can hear it. It's right there beyond the bushes, across the river. They have to be quiet now, because uh, if you can keep an eye on your own squad, you're definitely gonna be able to make out enemy footsteps. That techie is gonna get away. There's a lot of vegetation in the way. That striker and its 50 is not gonna be able to zero in on the techie, although it does does drive the wrong way. I'm not sure they know of the, or that he knows of the striker's presence, but he's gonna run into a very, very, very bad surprise. Oh, he might just get away. He's gonna get stuck for a second. That striker's gonna zero in. He is going to be gone in a matter of seconds. But somehow survive that. A law was fired. He's gonna actually abandon the vehicle. I'm in favor of that option. Although they might think he's dead. If he stays calm about it, I'm not sure what he's doing. Now's a good time to ambush the striker from the rear. But the squad is way too far away now. Back by the wall, they best just uh, wait for another chance. So the striker is right now patrolling the... Uh, 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 the road near the compound. They're going to patrol around the entire area. They're going to act as a preliminary defense of the uh, compound fob back here itself, which currently has, I think, two or three squads defending. So this is going to be a hard nut to crack for the insurgents, who right now, I do believe, are at a disadvantage in terms of numbers. That early engagement cost them a lot of lives, um, and they did not do as much damage as they had hoped. Um, but uh, they're still very, very capable of turning this round. We've seen uh, rounds turn upside down uh, in a matter of minutes. So there's still a lot of active squads, and let's not forget about the uh, techie convoy here. Oh boy, this is a force to be reckoned with. Four technicals. I can't make that five. Make that five. The insurgents are coming in, and we're going to be listening into the U.S. comms here as they uh, make contact with the main assault. They're actually spreading out across the field now because they can hear the techies. They know this attack is coming in. The striker is on the other side of the map now doing other things, and there's a squad in between here that can actually distract it from helping the fob here defend against the main assault. This is going to be a nasty engagement, guys. This is definitely going to be the highlight of today's round. Surgeons laying down fire and things are gonna get really close here as US troops are just on the other side of the wall
forward dish just moving up. We've got an SPG loading rockets too. A few insurgents crawling back now that the U.S. are completely dominating the field. Oh, rockets are being fired. Smoke grenades are being thrown. Regular hand grenades are being thrown as well. And that 50 is not letting up. Okay, so the rocket was fired at such a close range that it didn't actually detonate. All we gotta do is hold this compound. So if you can, get yourself back into the compound. This attack was... Uh, it hasn't been stopped. But the very sharp edge of the knife has uh, been bent. It's been made blunt. So they've lost the uh, the blitz. They've lost the uh, speed now. And uh, they're being a little bogged down. But insurgent casualties are, despite the chaos, fairly low. I see a lot of dead US troops here in the field. Um, and they've actually pulled back from the high ground here. They've been pushed back to the compound. We have more U.S. squad members retreating over there. And look at the distance. Striker taking rocket fire now. The one squad that I told you to keep an eye on uh, is doing what they what they meant to do. They're there to cut it off from joining the main fight. So that is all very good. We're going to go ahead and speed over there. Second rocket, it missed! That is devastating, you cannot miss that. You have a very uh, limited amount, so every rocket counts. He's gonna load up one more. I do believe he has another AT rocket available. He's gonna save it. They're gonna save it and pull back to a better position. Okay, let's head back to the main fight. The U.S. numbers here in the area have been drastically lowered. Um, they're going to have to harden up now as the insurgents get closer and closer. We do have a few on this side, but they've taken casualties trying to advance. I think they might try and retreat, come back around here and join up with the rest of the main force. Look at the techies moving up here. Techies and infantry side by side. Um, that is called... Combined arms. That is the word. So we have some nice display of combined arms here. Techies moving in the east 
southeast. Tech is now in south. It's gonna miraculously survive that, but they did catch one driver, so one techie has been disabled, um, and that's good. Dude, where are those contacts at? Uh, your squad's engaging. They are on the east door. East door. Copy east door. I don't know what's going on here. We got a bit of a levitation. That is remarkably weird. I haven't seen a glitch like that in squad in, uh, in a very long time. Self-firing their shot. It's going to be a hard entrance to, uh, to get through. Yeah, trying to send bodies through that door is, is suicide. They're just not going to get through that way. They're going to have to try and uh, try and find a more secure entrance. It looks like the U.S. forces have secured the area one more time. Oh, those grenades. Better be careful. Lots of friendlies nearby. That is GG. Wow, that is a quick round. Hope everyone enjoyed this action-paced round. And I will see you guys soon again. Ciao.